So here we got another tile and grout job that we're doing for a client. Um, we're actually going to be getting two bathrooms, but I'm going to just uh, show this bathroom a little bit. And uh, we're just examining the, uh, the tile and grout. So the emphasis is going to be really on the grout because uh, there are um, brown stains on the grout. And um, we're just going to use the grout demon, but we're examining them around the, the toilet and towards the uh, middle of the bathroom. Um, there's a combination of staining. Whenever I see like brown, um, I'm thinking rust. And you can see we wanted to get it like right there, right there, and that right there where I pointed. We want the grout lines to match that where there hasn't been any traffic. So that's the uh, goal. It's not always possible no matter what method you use, but we're using the grout demon today. Um, we're going to start out with a, a high alkalinity product and uh, see how that works. But as you can see, usually in bathrooms, it's always best to use uh, an acidic product um, because you're not really dealing so much with grease and oils, that sort of soil. So sometimes uh, you got to go with an acidic product instead of an alkaline. And uh, we're going to find that out soon. Um, for just the norm, normal soil uh, situations in this bathroom, uh, that alkaline product is going to work fine. But around the toilet, towards the uh, middle of the bathroom, there are some uh, brown staining that's a little bit concerning. And uh, we are going to use uh, a local product. Uh, and it's a highly acidic product, and we're going to use that in that area so we could try to match the grout lines with the, uh, with the clean grout lines. The, you know, we're just going to try to match it the best we can. And obviously, you can't always do that. And sometimes they're not going to match perfectly. So before that, we got to manage expectations of the client. Here we got the grout lines uh, soaked. So we're going to be using the doodle bug also to get the edges a little bit. You know, we want to get it clean as possible. And um, we are using the auric at the end to extract the uh, the dirty water. Um, but um, we're not going to show that in the video. That's not the focus. So right here, here's the grout demon. Uh, i using a high alkaline product here. And uh, it is getting it cleaner, but it's not the results I want. And, uh, you know, sometimes you're not going to be able to get the results and you're going to have to use a type of color seal to uh, make it look better, to either try to match that color or uh, just you're going to have to do the whole bathroom with the color seal. Customers request what kind of color they want. But we're uh, just using acidic product here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get on my hands and knees with the doodle bug. Use uh, this product right here. It's a local product I get here in Florida, and uh, we're just gonna agitate that in. It works almost instantaneously. You're gonna start seeing it bubbling and all that. So always testing an inconspicuous area. Because, uh, you know, some of these kind of products, they could damage the, uh, the mortar. They could cause damage in the uh, grout lines. So you just want to always test in an inconspicuous area. And um, this one was safe. I, I already tested it. Um, and it was fine. It worked really well. And that's all I'm doing is just agitating it in there. And I'm going to just use the uh, microfiber cloth to uh, dry it. And... We are going to uh, extract with the auric uh, and other areas and then uh, do a neutralizing because the other areas are um, uh, full of high alkaline uh, products. So uh, we are going to neutralize the floors and um, so they're not sticky and full of residue. So 
this part was a success. Um, it's working fine. And uh, so the acidic product was the way to go on this uh, job right here. Thanks for watching.